Health in a Hand Basket now with registered dietitian and nutritionist em, nutritionist <laughs> Emily Kyle. Can we start again? We're talking about pre, we always hear prepackaged foods. And we're not supposed to. Yes. Th that's bad for us. Bad exactly. prepackaged foods, especially this time of year yeah. when everybody's getting back into wanting to be healthy. Prepackaged foods can have some really good qualities, okay. and it's really just about being informed as a consumer about really what is good for us and what is bad for us. Because there are some great convenience options that can make healthy eating just so much easier. <laughs> Real quick, what is it about prepackaged foods in general that we don't, that we want to avoid? In general, it's because we're preserving, we're generally adding a lot of sodium okay. into our packaging or maybe fat, sugar, some of the excess nutrients that we want to have less of. Okay. Because in order to keep something stable, you have to do something to it. Okay. But, you know, cons companies are really listening to the demands of consumers now who are demanding healthier prepackaged products and they're really starting to deliver. And then when I walked in, though, the first thing I saw saw were all these vegetables that's and I'm right. thinking that's not prepackaged That's food. right. So let's start right over here okay. with from the American Diabetes Association. On the broccoli side. This crispy baked broccoli is made entirely from frozen broccoli. This and one now here? I yes. Okay. No other one. The other one. Sorry. Okay. Now I always hear from consumers they're worried whether or not frozen foods are equally as nutritious. Mm -hmm. And if that frozen vegetable is the only ingredient in the package, yes it is absolutely equally as nutritious. Fruit too? Fruit too, okay. absolutely. So broccoli, this fresh broccoli here at Wegmans, mm -hmm. a big bag is about $4.99, whereas you can get the same size bag frozen for a fraction of the price. Okay. You can get a 16 ounce bag for 99 cents. And what when, did you do with that broccoli there? So I'm going to take it onto a baking sheet. You're mm -hmm. going to mix in a little bit of soy sauce and a little bit of garlic powder. You're going to bake it at 375 for 45 minutes and it comes out crispy, delicious. That was very it's a budget-friendly recipe, an easy side dish that you can add on. But especially in the winter time when it's more expensive to buy in fresh right, produce, sure, yeah. now is the time to really kind of stock up. Or on the days that you don't want to leave your house because it's negative 20 degrees <laughs> out, having something like this in the freezer is a great healthy option for your sure family. Is. That was good. Uh, and the the other broccoli bought was just the fresh broccoli. Fresh broccoli, yep. Just to show the differences in pricing, it's really you can save a ton of money by going frozen. All right, we've got fish and envelopes here. Fish and envelopes here. <laughs> I am obsessed with these. I was never really too much of a huge tuna fan because mm -hmm. you had to drain it, uh, right. all that. These packets you can literally tear open and eat with your fork right out of the packet. Mm. The tuna is going to be wild caught. It's made in olive oil, so very anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. But of course if we have our plant-based vegan vegetarian friends as well, tofu is a great pre-packaged option for Instead you as well. Tuna. Instead of the tuna. And you put some, uh, some spinach? Some spinach, some avocado, and some microgreens. But this is a great five minute recipe. You can just pull it right out of the cupboard. You don't mm. have to wait for it to be made. You can keep it in your cupboard for a long time so you always have something ready to it go. And it tastes great. And it, it really tastes does. great. Yep. And then last but not least, I think people forget we, we're told don't shop, you know, only shop on the outside perimeter. Mm -hmm. But on the inside are our favorite friends, beans and legumes, which are exceptionally good for us. They mm -hmm. have their dietary fiber, vitamins and minerals. So here from Wegmans, I have their hummus. It's a great, it's easy to make your own at home, but if you're in a pinch and you need something quick, having a dip is the greatest way to eat more vegetables. So if you have it in your fridge ready to go, you're just setting yourself up for success. Uh, give me a clue on label, label shopping. Yes, so so yes. you, since it's a prepackaged food, mm -hmm. the label's right there for us to see what do you want to look out for that might say this is good, this is not good. Yes, yeah, so you're definitely going to be looking at sodium first, just to make sure that that number is not astronomically high. What if is you're astronomically high? If you're looking at more than 30% of your daily value for one single item, that's probably too much okay. for you. You also want to be looking at the ingredients list because really that's most important. How many ingredients are there in there? Do you understand what those ingredients are? Do you recognize them as generally good for you? Yeah. And you, you think about it, the, the things we've talked about were fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables. Beans. Beans and legumes. And fish. And protein. Yeah. That's yeah. right. So you can get just a little bit of everything by just expanding your shopping horizon. Yeah. I would guess the cereal aisle might be a place where Cereal's you see prepackaged food that's not as, you know, really? maybe the bars and things like yes, that. Yes, and that that's where you have to read those labels for that sugar inside right. because cereals really pack the sugar And in. very often they have a name that makes us think that it's you want nutritious. Or, yes, and, yes, yes. Na all natural. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. They get you. Emily, your website is? EmilyKyleNutrition.com. And where else can people find you? They can also get the broccoli recipe from the American Diabetes Association website. All right, website. thank you, Emily thank Kyle. Thank you so much. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for bringing me I'm glad you like it. Ashley's got it.